This is the latest code exchange on developer.cisco.com. There are a lot of new features I want to show you, so stick around and learn more about what code exchange can do for you. I'm Mel Delgado, developer advocate at Cisco, and first, let's start with a super quick overview of what Code Exchange is. So, Code Exchange is a curated collection of GitHub repos to help you get started with Cisco platforms and APIs. Maybe you're an engineer, an infrastructure automation engineer, a network engineer, an enterprise software developer, regardless, there's something there for everyone looking to build something new and useful. It's a great place to learn by example from the code posted by the community. So let's dive in and have a look at Code Exchange and the newly rolled out features. You can find Code Exchange at the newly redesigned developer.cisco.com site where the new navigation me menus make it much easier to find what you're looking for. Code Exchange is located under Learn in the section named Code. And if we click on Code Exchange, you'll have the option to search for specific terms uh, here in the search bar, or you can navigate to a use case such as automation use cases. I think maybe you've, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm totally into automation, so I'm, I'm gonna pick that one just for giggles. So I'll select the first option that appears, and that's going to be, let's see, automation scripts, and it's the Meraki dashboard API automation migration scripts in Python. So if we look down below, we'll see a, a descriptions for the .txt, the .py files, so on and so forth. We can also navigate uh, to the GitHub repo that backs it, and that will take us to the repo directly, and we can interact with things there. But wait, there's more. If we go back over here to Code Exchange, in the upper right-hand side, if ever you've wanted to interact with the code and, and just do some experimenting and so forth, you can click on this button. Okay, now, now this if you ever wanted to do this, okay? We'll click on that button and what will end up happening is that there's going to have VS Code is going to launch within the browser. Okay, so once it's launched within the browser, what we'll have, I'll just make the text bigger here, are, is the option, okay, to run this code. And you can pick any one of these here on the left-hand side if you'd like. You can just run this code Okay, by providing, uh, you'll need some things. So you'll see the usage instructions. You'll see things like an API key, an org name, you know, network. You know, you'll see some parameters that need to be passed to it. Uh, but you can run that directly from the terminal down below. So we can do like a Python uh, or just copy paste it if you want here. Uh, add routes dot, uh, dot py. Okay, and you know, I don't have an API key with me, but you you get the idea, hopefully is you can use, use these examples here, okay, to run this and all this code down below will run, okay, at least for that dot, the uh, add routes.py. Along the lines, you can also, along those same lines, I should say, you can change some things and see if it works for your environment. Uh, maybe this uh, piece of code here, you could just experiment with it and, and add a few things, maybe just m make some modifications so that it runs well in your environment. So I invite you to visit developer.cisco.com slash code exchange and explore all the repo it has to offer that could help you with your next project. As always, thanks for watching.